In this video, we'll learn about adapting your diet to gluten-free. Once you go gluten-free, you can still enjoy the same dishes you've always loved. As already stated, you aren't giving up anything, you are adding better health to your life. You just need to get creative about preparation techniques. Be aware that just about any dish can be made gluten-free. Baking your favorite treats the gluten-free way. We promised at the beginning of this video course that you could savor your favorite cookies, pies, and cakes on a gluten-free diet. Using gluten-free flours can be challenging, but it's still possible to create tasty goodies for yourself and your family. Here are some tips for changing your gluten sweets into gluten-free. When using gluten-free flour, increase the baking powder and baking soda by a quarter. If a standard recipe calls for a teaspoon of baking soda, use a teaspoon and a quarter. Gluten-free flour can crumble. Therefore, making smaller versions of your usual cookies or baking individual pies instead of one large one will help keep everything stuck together. When baking breads, bake two mini loaves instead of a single loaf. Improve the quality and taste of baked goods by combining various types of gluten-free flour instead of using just one kind. Use starches with added texture when you bake. Every recipe can differ, so you need to experiment. A good guide is to use three cups of flour to a half cup of starch. Starch can be tapioca, potato starch, or cornstarch. It bears repeating that baking is not a precise science, and you may need to experiment a few times with the ratio for the perfect combination. Gluten is what helps a dough stick together. Without gluten, you need to use something else to keep your dish from falling apart. Use a teaspoon or more of guar gum, gelatin, or xanthan to keep your breads together. For cakes and muffins, add only half a teaspoon. Adding an extra egg can also help bind the dry ingredients together. Yes, you are likely to make mistakes when you experiment. No need to waste those mistakes and toss them. Place those errors in a food processor and create gluten-free coating for your fried meats and fish. To create a more perfect gluten-free dough, beat the batter more than you would ordinary dough to provide it with some structure. Butter is a permitted addition to your gluten-free baking. However, to add extra sweetness, moisture, and nutrition, Substitute a portion of the butter called for with a fruit puree. The best fruits to use are apples, avocados, and bananas. They can add a great deal of flavor to your baked goods. Making good substitutions in your recipes. Get creative when cooking gluten-free and learn how to multi-use your ingredients. Anything that calls for a bun can be wrapped in lettuce or a corn tortilla. You don't have to give up your favorite fried chicken, pork chops, or fish. Just substitute a different coating for the usual breadcrumbs. We have already discussed turning some failed baking attempts into crumbs. You can also turn gluten-free bread into breadcrumbs. Another interesting way to coat is to crumble up pork rinds. Some recipes call for beer. Unless you have a non-malt, gluten-free beer handy, use apple cider instead. To make croutons for your salads, cut up a few slices of gluten-free bread and fry the cubes. When preparing sandwiches, don't limit yourself to gluten-free bread. Get creative and use corn tortillas, waffles, or thin pancakes. Also, try a healthful lettuce wrap. Mastering gluten-free cooking takes some creativity and experimentation. It's a good idea to try smaller batches until you achieve satisfying results. Being diagnosed with celiac disease or wheat allergy does not have to interfere with your favorite meals. Play around with the ingredients and enjoy tasty results. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.